In this video, we're gonna to try to fix this Neofun's Happy House claw machine that we got from the most recent arcade pinball vending coin up at All Things Cool Auction. Make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video to find out what happens. Enjoy the show. What's up guys, Matt here with Galaxy Games 843, back with another bonus video. Today we're gonna to try to get this Happy House by Neofun's claw machine working. Now we picked this machine up at the most recent arcade pinball vending coin op at All Things Cool Auction. Picked it up for $525. Now it's got an issue that we're gonna try and figure out in this video. But before we get into the actual issue, let's go and roll the footage where we actually won this machine at the auction. So let's play it now. All right, that leaves 13-1, 100, 150, 150, now two, 200. 200, 203, now four, now five, 450 will do, now five, now 550, uh, 550, 500, 550, would you do five and a quarter? One time, now 550, 550 and now he's out. So five and a quarter to better number. Uh, 190, 190. All right, so as you can see, we got this machine for $525. We did know that it has an issue, and I'm gonna show you, first of all, what the issue is, and we're gonna talk about some possible fixes. So let me get set up, uh, I'm gonna set the camera up for a better shot so we can kind of test it out, and I'll show you what's happening, and then we'll move on to possible solutions and see what we can do. All right, let's move on to the next step. All right, so here's what's happening with the machine. As you can see, the motor moves, and you can move it around, right? So it goes back and forth, like it goes left and right. All works well, but it's the up and down, I think, that's the issue. So watch what happens when I hit the button now. It moves down two, maybe three inches, maybe four, five, six inches, closes, and then doesn't come back up, you can see. Right, you can see it doesn't come back, then it just opens back up. It's gonna throw an error. And basically, I don't know if you can see it right here, but it's telling me it's an up switch error. And what that means, basically, it doesn't mean there's a problem with the switch. It just means that the switch hasn't been tripped. So basically what it's looking for, it's looking for the claw to move back up. And um, can you see this on camera? Let me, let me pull this closer. What, what it's looking for, it's looking for this to move up and obviously hit this, which lifts this up and then opens this switch right here. That's what it's looking for. So because it didn't open that switch, that's why it, it threw an up switch error. So initially, I, I was you know trying to figure it out and uh, basically I, I was messing around with this switch and that's how I got it to be able to move around again. But initially, I wasn't getting any action at all. So it wasn't moving around, it wasn't doing anything. And my buddy Anthony Hastings, who joins us on our Wednesday live streams, said, you know, I've had an issue like that before and the problem was the main board. So he actually sent me a couple main boards to test in this machine. Now, obviously, because I figured out the switch issue and it moved everything around, obviously we know that the main boards are good, right? So I did test Anthony's boards anyway. All was good, no changes, nothing else was a problem with the main boards. So definitely not a main board issue. So I'm gonna have to send those boards back to Anthony. Anthony, if you're watching, thanks so much for allowing me to test your boards to see if it made any difference for this machine. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. All right, so since we figured out that the motors go back and forth and left and right, obviously it's not a board issue. And because it, it, it'll come down a little bit, but it won't pull back up, I'm thinking it's either gonna be a gear issue somewhere in this gantry here, or a weak up and down motor. So Kevin at candymachines.com sent me some parts to try out. So what I, what I think we're gonna do, I think we're gonna take the gantry out of the machine. Of course, we're gonna power it down first. We'll take the gantry out of the machine. We'll take it apart. We'll take a look inside. Maybe we'll replace the motor, replace the gear. We'll, we'll, we'll look at it first. Um, one thing I do wanna say is this machine was really dirty when I brought it home. It was full of bugs. Like, it, it obviously has been stored in a warehouse. It probably had an issue, just got put in a warehouse, and then of course brought to the auction. Um, so I did clean it real good, but who knows what we'll find in here. Obviously, that we have a lighting issue too. As you can see, it's flickering up here. So we're gonna need to fix the lighting. So we'll probably replace some lights, but I'm not gonna replace any lights until I at least get this part working because 
what's the point of replacing the lights if I can't get this part working? So let's let's what we'll do next is we'll take the gantry out, we'll take it apart, and we'll kind of make some diagnosis. We'll probably do some cleaning in there. We'll probably maybe like I said, maybe either replace the motor or replace the gear. We'll take a look and see. We'll get a better look at it once we get it out of the machine. So let's do that next. All right, let's take a look at this gantry. Uh, basically, what we need to do is, like I said, take a look inside and let's flip it over. So as you can see, everything looks good on this side. Um, everything, the, the string is set the right way. Everything's good there. Let's take a look at the other side. So one thing I'm noticing is the gear looks good. I mean, there's a lot of, there's some bugs in there, which is kind of gross, but everything looks good there. I think it's, I think it's actually the motor. So let me go grab the replacement motor. We'll see how it kind of lines up and everything. We'll see how easy it's going to be to replace. Let me go grab that real quick. All right, so here's the replacement motor that Kevin sent me. Kevin from CandyMachines.com sent me this replacement motor. And it should be this one right here. So it should go right inside there, just like that. I don't know if you can see how it kind of lines up. So it looks like, it looks like there's just two bolts, but before I take the bolts off, I'm gonna need to take this piece kind of apart. So let me grab a couple more tools and I should be able to get in there and work it out. So let me do that real quick here. All right, so I am, I removed the C-clip. I removed the first pulley that runs on the, on the, or the, whatever you call this thing. I don't know if it's, it's not a, it's like, a, it's like a wheel that runs on the track. And I've gotten both of the bolts off. So now we can just pull this motor right out. So here we go. So the motor's out. Let's go ahead and flip it over. We can have access to all the wiring on the opposite side here. There's our replacement. We're going to get the claw out of the way. And basically what we need to do is we're going to need to probably, and we're probably going to need to solder these new wires in to the old wires. Let's see here. Let me go grab some uh, some wire cutters and we'll uh, move on to the next steps here. All right, so what we need to do first, you notice there's like a, an extra, like almost like a some sort of wire that's glued to the side of this. Um, it doesn't look like that's where we're gonna tap into, but let's just clip that off. Let's see if we can pop that thing off here. There we go, popped it off. It was just glued to the side. And now what we need to do is cut, we're gonna cut these motor wires off just like that. All right, so here's the old motor. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but you know, you can never really tell. The new one obviously is brand new though, and it's got the wires pre-stripped and everything like that. So we can just go ahead and solder those in. I need to strip these wires though, in order to create a solder point. I'll grab my wire strippers and we'll do that next. All right, so does anyone else feel like half of my videos are me running back and forth for parts and tools and things like that? I do, all right. So I'm going to strip these wires off. I'm not gonna give it a whole lot of room, just a little bit. And then we'll solder those, uh, the, the new wires to the old wires, basically. Then we'll clean it up with some zip ties and make it look nice, and then we'll put it all back together and we'll test it in the machine. We'll see if that is the fix. So there we go. So that's all stripped off. There's our wire sheathing there. Here's the new ones that we'll put in. I'm we'll gonna pull those ends off and we'll get them all tinned up once my soldering iron heats up. Probably more wire than we need exposed there, but that's okay. And I probably should use some heat shrink tubing, but I'm currently out of heat shrink tubing. So after I get it soldered up, we'll have to protect it with good old electrical tape, unfortunately. All right, I'm um, gonna let the, the soldering iron heat up and then we'll move on to fixing this part or putting this back together. All right, let's go ahead and check our soldering iron. First thing I'm gonna do is tin all of the ends here. If my soldering iron is warm enough, I just wanna get uh, everything started. Looks like we're good to go there. I'll tin that end. That one's good. Let's go ahead and tin the ends of the motor. That one's a little messy. Let's clean that up. There we go. And we'll do this one here.
I just don't want it sitting against the table while I do this. That's about as good as that's going to get right there. There we go. All right, lots of solder on that one. Probably too much. Okay, so now that we got all of our ends tinned, we can go ahead and make our connections. So I am going to try to just kind of line it up. Actually, you know what? This is way too big. Let me make that a little smaller. We'll do the same for this piece. Okay, much better. All right, now this is where you really wish you had three hands instead of two because you have to get, you have to hold the wires together and solder at the same time. Let me re, re, since I cut these off, let me retin these one more time on the ends here. They look a little frayed. That one's good. That's better. Okay, so now because we tin them, hopefully we can just kind of line them up and the solder will stick good enough. All right, that one seems good. Good enough anyway. All right, let's try the other one here. Problem is I'm not sitting at a good angle. Good. Connections look decent. I'm going to add a little more solder to them though. I think I'm just going to make sure they don't pop off while they're up in the gantry like that. And I popped it off myself. Remember, we're gonna we're also gonna tape it up too and, and make sure it's good and safe. Not gonna conduct anything. It's gonna wrap some tape around there and protect it. And this is basically to make sure that it doesn't. Uh, make contact with each other, with the ground and the, and the hot, basically, or I think this is, I can't remember how many volts this one is, but you want to make sure that they're isolated. They don't touch each other. All right, got everything back in place. Let's go ahead and set the motor up through here. We'll flip it back over. Now, what we need to do is have the motor, these two bolts come through these mounting holes, just like that. And we're going to put these back on here and tighten them up. All right, we got the motor in. We got all the things replaced. We're going to flip it back over one more time. Now we want to make sure these wires aren't just kind of hanging out here like this, because this is, you know, this isn't the greatest, most professional looking thing. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to play. I got some zip ties. We're going to kind of zip tie things together kind of nicely as best we can. So I think first we're going to put one here like so and make it tight around up here. And then we'll fold these back in on itself and zip tie another one. Again, we're just, we're just kind of make it so the wires aren't all dangly. So there's one in place. Now we'll put the rest of them up here like so. Yeah, that should, that should work right there. Once, uh, once we have this all back together, you shouldn't be able to really even see these wires. Ah, one popped out. I don't like the way that is. Let me cut that one out. Don't be afraid to go back and redo your work sometimes too, if you need to. Um, you wanna make sure it's done right, looks good, all that good stuff. All right. 
There we go. Okay, so now, now the wires aren't all hanging down and dangling. Okay, so that it was actually pretty easy swapping that motor out. As you saw, we basically just cut two wires, um, un, uh, you know, un, unbolted the old motor, bolted the new motor in, soldered the wires, and then just kind of taped them up and zip tied everything up so it was uh, all back together. All right, so now I'm going to put the gantry back in the machine and we're going to see how well, if, if this fixed our problem. So let me get this back in the machine and then we'll see what happens next. All right, so I had to switch to a, kind of a, a not real stable tripod. I broke my other tripod mount in between scenes. So it's gonna be a little bit wobbly, as you can see here. I don't know if the wobble's gonna pick up or if my stabilization on the camera is gonna be okay, but I apologize in advance if it's a little bit wobbly. I'm also trying out a new microphone in this video. It's not the best of quality, but it's uh, kind of a passive microphone until I can save up to get one of the new uh, DJI uh, wireless microphone set. So hopefully we'll have one of those by Vegas, but that's neither here nor there. So we've got the gantry back in the machine. I haven't plugged it in, I haven't turned it on. Let's just go ahead and plug it in and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in now. Let's see what happens here. Oh, look at that guys, it moves, it works. Now, the real question is, is it really gonna work? So let's coin it up. Grab a dollar here. I'm just going to throw a dollar bill into it. And let's see what happens. All right, so it moves like it should. Oh, look at that, guys. It works. It was just a weak motor. That is totally the issue. Uh, of course, I think we're gonna have to throw a, a, a couple prizes in. So let me let me put together a couple prizes, then we'll really test it out. So I'll be right back. All right, I, threw, I, I, I inflated some knobby balls real quick, threw those in there. Let's go ahead and play another game. All right, let's see if we can win a knobby ball here. Going for this blue one right here. All right, look at that, guys. Winner. All right, so that's working. Okay. Now, what I'm going to say is I probably inflated these knobby balls a little bit too big. You notice the claw is open, but that knobby ball is stuck in there, right? So let's try again. Like I said, I probably inflated these knobby balls too big. I've never actually ran these before in this machine or anything, so probably made them too big. Let's try again. Let's go for this, this green one's a little bit smaller, so let's try for the green one. And I haven't messed with any of the settings for claw strength or anything like that, so I don't know what's gonna work, what's not gonna work, let's see here. There we go, yep, see, it, so it goes down and drops the prize, so that's good. All right, I've got one more dollar here, let's play one more time. And let's see, we'll go for the, another green one because the green one seems like I inflated them a little bit less. There we go. Look at that, guys. All it was was a weak motor and it fixes the machine. So look at that, it's beautiful. And although it didn't let go of it there. So I think uh, I think I just have those overinflated. I'll, I'll mess with that, but all is good. All right, guys, so in summary, we were able to get the Happy House by Neofun's claw machine working just by replacing a motor. So luckily, it wasn't as bad as we thought it was gonna be. We thought it was probably gonna be a board issue, but it seems like that's not the case. So luckily, it was just an easy fix. So one more time, thank you again to Anthony Hastings for sending me the boards to test with. I'll send those back to you. And also, thank you to Kevin at CandyMachines.com. Um, he sent me uh, the motors and the gears, but luckily we only needed to replace one motor to make it work. So big shout out to CandyMachines.com. Kevin, thank you so much. Uh, couldn't have done without you guys. Uh, so you guys were a blast, a lot of help. Thank you so much for that. All right, so I want to, I want to also remind you, we are giving away a mini claw machine in conjunction with CandyMachines.com. Also, Extreme Vending here on YouTube and the Howard Hospitality Group here on YouTube. In order to win the super, it's a super mini, what a, in order to win, you need to subscribe to Galaxy Games 843, right here on YouTube, subscribe to the Howard Hospitality Group, subscribe to Extreme Vending, 
join our Discord, which you can find the link for that down in the description of this video. And lastly, go to the candymachines.com link in the description of the video too. There's a registration form, fill out that form, and then you are entered to win a mini claw machine. We're gonna give it away in Las Vegas during the National Bulk Vending Association's um, conference and trade show. So once we uh, get all that squared away, We'll be drawing a winner. We'll do it live in Vegas, either the 29th or 30th of March, one of those two days, or 28th, 29th, 30th, somewhere in there. That's when the conference is. And like I said, we'll, we'll be uh, giving it away. So make sure you register. All right. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. You learned a little bit of something. You saw us fix the machine. I still need to go through and probably change the lights inside, give it a really good cleaning. Um, because you can see there's still like little bits of junk and stuff in here. So we'll get all that cleaned up. But thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you coming along. And you know, it's not always collecting money out of vending machines for, our, for us here on our channel. Sometimes we do arcade machines too. This was one of those videos. Sometimes we go shopping for vending inventory, all kinds of stuff like that. But I'm going to wrap it up right here, guys. Thanks again so much for joining our journey. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really does help us out. But we're going to wrap the video up right here. So guys, once again, this is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.